So what you are doing, and the reason why you use a grid is to help you get things in proportion. So what you're doing is, um, and I've got two viewfinders here. I've got one, and some of you may want to use them. This is for your picture, so this goes over your picture like this. So I've already drawn this one, and I know it's a little hard to see the lines, but all you're dry, drawing here are the outlines. And these little marks here are to help you kind of figure out where in the rectangle, whether it's going to be halfway up, three quarters of the way up, one quarter, it's about proportions. Um, so I've already drawn this one and this one. Can you see the relationship? Look right now. All right. So this is this one right here. Um, all right, so what you're going to do is just do them one at a time. So I will demonstrate this one right, whoops, it's hard to get this all in view. I will demonstrate this one right now. I'm going to fold this back <coughs> just a little bit so I can get in a little bit closer. So now I'm on the third rectangle. It doesn't matter whether you start at the top, the bottom, go around the edge. All right. Now, when you finish a rectangle, it's very important that you extend the lines over to the next one so you know where you left off. Otherwise, you're going to have all these lines that don't connect. So, oh, it looks like I did not complete this rectangle. So, all I got done was... It's the bottom two lines I left out. What did it do? Okay, so I did that. All right, so I got that one and that one. All right, I would say this is this one coming here. Um, I was talking and doing this. I think it needs to be more like this. I think I really messed that one up. No, I'm going to redraw draw that one. I'm trying to talk while I do it. That is not nice. What? Okay, then this one right here I can see comes from here. In the, it comes right about in the middle. <coughs> and goes here. <clears throat> All right, so this one is done. So I move on to this one, and I can see this line right here is going to be this one, and it comes about to the middle. And if you want to, oh, oh sorry, I'm out of viewpoint here. Let me adjust that. If it helps you, you can use two viewfinders. You can use a big one like this on your, on your picture. A lot of you won't want to do go use all this stuff, um, but this will help you kind of um, see where you're at. So this is where this starts. Where does it end? About in the middle. That's where you'd use a viewfinder here if you needed to have a little better sense of where things. So you've got to connect those lines. All right. Here's this one. I trailed it off, but I went down, and it really goes up and comes about here, about a quarter up here. So even though a lot of you, if I said, you know, can you draw a good portrait, you'd say no. Um, most of you can draw an abstract drawing. This line, what the heck? I've gone what, up too far here, so I'm going to bring that over there. Just make sure those lines connect. This should be much closer to this one, shouldn't it? So I'd, I'd probably go back and see what, um, <coughs> somewhere I've kind of messed up. And part of it's because you know what I'm doing? I'm trying to talk and draw at the same time, which is extremely difficult, which is why I should not hear everybody talking when you're doing this. Um, because see, here I need to make this connection right here. And so I've been doing all this and talking, and, I, and I'm not doing a very good job. Um, 
my proportions are off. This should be near. See how narrow this needs to be right here? Clearly, something's wrong. And I think this needs to come down a little bit lower yet. So if I have that problem, then I go back here and look and see what's going on here. This probably needed to be a little narrower here, etc. So I've been trying to draw <laughs> and talk at the same time. I can do it, but I'm making mistakes because I'm talking. So um, my recommendation is that when you're doing this, if you say, well, I can't do it. Well, are you talking while you're doing it? Because I can't do it when I'm talking and I can do this. All right, so this is halfway here, comes up about a quarter of the way there. And again, just overlap those lines as you go along. You might have to change them so that when you go to the next um, area, you keep them in line. Um, one more thing I would like to suggest, where people really start to have problems. Now, some of you might have trouble with the hair. Some of you that have more detailed hair. But the general areas, now you look at these, these are pretty easy to do, right? There's not a lot of lines there. But when you get to the eyes, lots of times the mouth, the nose, you get a lot more detail and it is a lot uh, more difficult. So I'm going to suggest to you, besides that you stop talking right now, that one of the things you might want to do is take these grids. If you're having trouble getting them in the right proportions, you can take a grid. These are one inch tall, so I'm dividing them in half. I'm going to Let's see, do a purple line so you guys can see it, so I can see it. So what I could do is divide the grid in half. You could divide it the other way as well. Can't see it. It's not working. Darn it. Uh, let's see. Can you turn the other line on? You can't see it? Uh, I'm using a colored pencil, which is, okay, yeah, it's, it's a little bit, okay, so then what you do, because I divided this in half, and I can see that I didn't do a very good job, again, I'm talking, because this is a little bit smaller than this one, and they should be equal, so, but I'm just demonstrating, so that's the one, two, three, fourth roll down, so then I come in on my big sheet here, fourth row down, and I'm just going to add... I'm going to break up those grids, and this will help a lot of you if you're struggling in an area where there's lots of detail. If you make your grid smaller, and these this way they're just long enough to, ah, this ruler's been bent so it's not, I'm having a hard time holding it down. That's why you don't bend metal rulers and they don't lay flat. All right, then I can come in and do, for example, right here. Let me see. Um, I can do this area first. <coughs> so this would be, this is the hairline there, and then it comes down here. But then I can see this shape right here is going to come down to there. And that's going to help you get some of your proportions a little more correct. You could, by the same token, you could divide this even smaller and divide in the eyes. Sometimes I suggest people even divide those. Let's see if it's two and a quarter. It needs to be four and an, one and an eighth, right? That's where those years of mathematics pays off. All right, so if you need to, one, two, three, over, one, two, three, over, where it gets really, really detailed, you might want to divide it even more. So, any questions?